But we got the ultimate. Just the other day. Hold post on, bro. We got the ultimate culture vulture, Post Malone, your boy. Everybody love Posty. Posty ain't a bad guy, or is he? We don't find out because he he a little he a little uh, you know he he, he came into the game you know rapping and now now look at him you know what I mean. So what what's that say about him? Let's find out, bro. Let me see, what kind, of, what kind of reaction can we do? We do, we do the face. Post Malone dropped his long-awaited country album today. that sold 250,000 copies for his week. But this album kind of split music half and half. On one half, we got people who love the album. They said it's a great body of work. But on the other hand, we got hip-hop that feels like it was just used by Post Malone to get where he, oh, boy, he that, wanted that just for him to ditch the genre. So is Post Malone really a culture vulture like the thumbnail says? Let's really look into his career and find out. Early in post career, he kind of implanted the thought that he wasn't really too into hip hop in everyone's head. See, post, he blew up, blew up a smash hit, White Iverson, a song that everybody done heard yeah, I with that and shit. enjoyed before. And he kept it up. He kept following up with more music and it was looking real good for Post Malone. But this is where the cracks will start to show. Since the start of his time in hip hop, he always played into the idea that maybe he didn't just want to rap it, how he basically didn't want to be a part of the culture and this goes back to what i was saying the moment that he revolt. put the idea that he didn't want to be a part of the culture in everyone's head let's Why? go back 2016 all these new rappers blowing up post malone uzi kodak 21 savage it was a yeah, great time for the boy. whole industry was experiencing so much, but there was a problem behind the scene post malone was kind of burning bridges see, see 2016 ssl cypher came around and they was picking out the artist for an original post was supposed to be a part of that list and i mean he would have fit perfectly he was this hot new artist he really was a part of the culture at that time he had a hit song that everybody was singing that everybody knew the lyrics to that was like why wouldn't he be on the list but as you know post malone was not on that list and it was his fault he said this he said that he ain't want to do the xxl list that year because he didn't feel like taking a flight to new york he said Damn, I didn't want to move cover because I was tired and didn't want to take a six hour flight to New York. My love of music shouldn't ever be questioned. I shouldn't be chastised for expressing myself in whatever way I see fit. That being said, I mean that's fair too. I though. never have said once that I'm not gonna make hip hop anymore. Everyone got the right to do whatever they want to do. I want to continue making hip hop and I want to continue writing songs on my guitar. I want to continue to work with talented artists across any genre and continue doing stuff that I love. See, Post Malone not wanting to be on that's the list is not a problem at all. Him, yeah, him making fair. more music than just rap isn't a problem. Plenty of artists might be rappers, but they also expand into other genres. But it's different with Post, and I'm going to really get into it with this video. But just the day before, Post gave out that statement. Vanessa Satton, editor-in-chief at HHL, said that Post ain't want to keep making rap music, and that he wanted to move away from rap and go do country or another genre. <laughs> and this was back in 2016. Vanessa said this. We're told by his camp that he wasn't paying too much attention to hip-hop, and that he was going in more of a rock, oh. pop, country direction. We never even discussed any music. We never even met on it. Once we heard that he wasn't really acknowledging hip-hop especially when they were telling us we're going in the country direction that's a message you don't really want to be in in the hip-hop world so we just gonna let it go and that's the okay so that being back in 2016 i feel like that's fair then like he can i don't think that's culture vulture and vulturing or whatever the fuck I, I think that's like uh like you did like that that's fine I, I feel like that should be okay like he said, it was just, it was stated by his manager and shit back then. Like whatever. And that's a gay that's like, That's when Post went like, that little rant talking about nigga. That I'm already cleared him. Then. Who said I don't want to do hip hop? This is what I do. But even we past this, watch more, on multiple will, different whatever. occasions, Post specifically said that hey, I'm not a rapper. I just so happen to make hip hop music. He just borrowed the And even back then, and when this whole situation music. was going down, the culture was speaking on it heavily. And the clip I'm about to show you is from academics back in 2016 speaking on how oh he boy, felt about what Post was doing and saying. Because I'm telling y'all. Them claiming they're not a rapper is trying to, it is an effort to try to absolve them from critique and scrutiny that comes from being a rapper. And to be honest, also kind of excuse himself from any culture responsibility other than turning up and rapping about drugs, guns, and pure. And the the fact is, man, bro. most of you who claim y'all can't rap or no, no, or you're not rappers. The fact is y'all could barely rap. But y'all made it in rap, in hip hop, because the bar is so low. Where if you're melodic enough and fans rock with you, or you use enough auto tune and distortion on your voice, or whatever you want to call it, and you still make a dope song, people will rock with you. Now, hey, bro, that whole statement, bro, that nigga ain't capping, bro. I can't even lie. That was that had to be like 
the most honest that man has been, bro. Like, that's... Like, he ain't wrong, bro. Like, I'm just saying, bro. You get a little, you get a little like... You get a little fan base, bro, behind you. You throw some music out with a little auto-tune, bro. You ain't got sound good no more, bro. You got AI and shit now. But you can just put a little auto-tune on. And, hey, bro, I'm so glad you got picture day tomorrow, bro. But you can uh put some auto-tune on. And you could be a fucking, like... Damn near superstar, sound like damn superstar if you want to, bro. That shit wild nowadays. Even if you, you claim you're not like out. some rapper or singer, you do need to realize the culture that has allowed you Your best friend the not fortunes, the, now. the access, the benefits, the money, the clout, the fame. It's hip hop. And what fit you rock I don't tomorrow. give a fuck what you say. I don't care if you say you're not a rapper. You know you goddamn well in hip hop. You all hey, operating GD, under bro. that goddamn umbrella. Little Uzi, little what Yachty, Post GD, Malone, yeah. any of you. Who claim y'all not rappers? Believe me, you're making hip hop music. And look, you're probably thinking, okay, so Post Malone claimed to not be a rapper, but he was also benefiting off hip hop at the time. Hip hop was where he got every single fan of his during the start. And that's why people was having a problem with it. It was like, you just came in here, you got all these fans from hip hop, and you just go not claim to be a rapper, you're gonna claim to not be a part of the culture. And that was half of the problem. Something else he did changed how everybody looked at him, really. He said something that was real controversial and disrespectful to hip hop as a whole. Post said, if you looking for lyrics, if you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I gotta pause the video because the Crocs on Picture Day is insane. I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you can't bring out Crocs on Picture Day, my boy. Like, you, you looking to cry. If you're looking to think about life, don't listen to hip hop. There's great hip hop songs where they talk about life and they spit that real shit. But right now, there's not a lot of people talking about that. Whenever I wanna cry, whenever I wanna sit down and have a Don't nice you worry cry, about I listen to some Bob boy. Dylan. Or whenever I'm trying to have a good time and stay in a You're still growing, so your feet don't get bigger, so don't worry about them I think hip hop is you important have to buy some new because shoes it brings eventually. people together in a beautiful, happy way. And I'm gonna be real objective and I'm biased when I say this, and this coming from a nigga that obsesses with hip hop. I mean, I make videos about music for a living. So when I say this, That's real, he he's not wrong. Background. To an extent, a large portion of hip hop music that comes out today isn't necessarily deep and talking about true life problems, but that same thing can go for any other genre of music. Just like how a lot of hip hop music is just rapping about hoes, drinking and smoking. You look at country, for example, and you see it's a lot of the same thing in a different form. Think about how many country songs you hear, nigga talking about he getting drinks at the bar, they 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 out drunk, got a butt, like nigga, it's the same thing in a different form. Or you can look at pop. Make a music about the same thing, sex, money, drugs, fame. See, the problem with what Post said is that he singled out hip hop as the only genre that has this problem. When in reality, yep. it's every form of music. Just like how Post said he would go listen to Rob Dylan and sit and cry, a hip hop fan could go to Kendrick Lamar, or a hip hop fan could go turn on 17 by XA6, a real yeah. impactful. Yo, even that fucking Gavin may don't may not like him, bro, but fucking Lil Dirt, bro, he got hood blues, bro, like, it don't matter. They got drill music, so you can cry to my nigga, it don't matter, bro. They have the shit everywhere, so he ain't wrong, bro. Like, this shit is everywhere, so it kind of don't matter. Emotional album. That's why he ain't culture But to top it all off, the, just like the, the cherry on top, with dirt, to really bro. throw whatever he, he said out so the window. Much. This came out in 2017. Let's just go, let's look up on Google. What albums came out this year? Damn, came out in 2017. Hey, look, the way you have to be touching dirt in this fucking chat, bro. Four, 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 like, four by Jay Z chain, came bro. out in 2017. Nigga, All American Badass by Joey Badass came out in 2017. See, it was a lot of impactful music that came out in this year. So for him to say that at that time in music, there wasn't no real impactful rap music coming out is a crazy statement when in fact that was a real impactful year for rap music nigga so much great music came out during this year. and this situation put a stain on post Malone career to this day people never forgot that he said that and it's something that still brought up to this day in 2024 and he said it back in 2017 he tried to make hip-hop seem like it was just this one dimensional form of art but just know this whole thing about him not knowing if he was gonna put one foot in or leave one out of the culture left a bro, you know Joey badass but before i tell you about that make sure you come tap in with a twitch i've been streaming on there and like i, I always swear, say, like whenever you watch my shit bro like like i'm gonna need you to get like a google search just sitting there ready to look at these niggas bro like i'm gonna need you to do that because i don't know how you don't be knowing some of these people bro They've been around for a minute. Like, they're not brand new. Like, you not knowing Ian or something, that made sense. But, like, you not knowing Joey or something, at least hear about him or something. Like, that's crazy. Far the video, you will be just as entertained if you came to the stream. And for him to not know if he really want to be a part of the culture, like, that that listen to Tupac, changed you know, his life or not, is, you feel me? Like, this far in his career know who he is. wasn't a good look. And look, don't nah, get Joey what I'm saying twisted. So like I said before, I him wanting to experiment Two. and make multiple types of music 
isn't the problem. It's just how he was moving. I mean, how can you come into the game looking like this? Braids, goals, rapping like a nigga, using oh, the God, punch, bro. just to not know if you want to be a part of it. I ain't gonna lie, no cap, bro. I didn't see Post Malone's like full on picture, bro. It was like the shadowy cover art or whatever. And I thought that nigga was, uh, I thought he was a light skin dude, bro. I ain't gonna cap, like the sound and everything. I thought he was a light skin guy, bro. Until my my friend told me that it was a white guy, and I was like, whoa. Cause like I didn't know that until I saw like a picture of him like randomly on the internet, and then I was like, who the fuck is that guy with the braids and or the corn rolls and shit. And it, and like my friend was like, oh, he's. I was like, that's Post Malone. And my friend's like, yeah. And I was like, he white. He's like, yeah. I was like, oh shit, like that's crazy. I just didn't know. Austin Post. The start of your career was just <laughs> you taking parts of the culture. I mean, he, the nigga was calling himself the White Allen Iverson, but look, past all the controversy, past all of the yeah, drama, that he was in, his music was doing real good. He had Rockstar, number one single, in 21 Savage. He had some good albums out, but there was something going on at this time. During the time that he was developing his career, he was facing some real bad addiction problems. To a terrible point, it, it, it was to a really, really, really rough point. And um, I couldn't get up off the floor for, for, for weeks. And I never Damn. want to bring people down. I just want to express how I feel. Yeah, but, but what were you drinking? It was screwdrivers. It was a bunch right. of, it was vodka. It was vodka right. and it was, it was bodying fifths. Yeah, and song, um, trying to hang in there and, and talking to people who weren't in there <laughs> and trying to say, hey, that help bad, me huh? out. Could you yeah. help me out? <laughs> you know? And this is a topic that I touched on all throughout his music career. This was something he had always been tackling, facing. Even though he was going through that problem, that don't mean he was out of controversy. Back in 2019, hey, he got into something out. that wasn't even his fault. Boy. He My ended bad, up winning the 2019 up, AMAs for best rap album with his album, Hollywood's Bleed. But the problem is he won best rap album. And let's say, why is that a problem? Because Hollywood's Bleeding is not really a rap album. This had a heavy pop really alternative like, vibe to it. Yeah, it might have had some hip hop hits in it. It had some <laughs> rappers as features. It should not have won best rap album. If that album won any other award, nobody would have had a problem with it because it was. It's a really good album, but it didn't really you align with the rap bro, team. Hey, it's something I just thought about while shit. editing. How can he win best rap this album sign for you though, when Gavin. he himself don't even claim to be a rapper? Y'all just gave a nigga an award who don't even want like a, it. Was it a Bob Dylan mm -hmm. record or something? Mm -hmm. I love you. Um, and I always tell people like who, who call you a rapper, I'm like, yo, he, 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 you know, I guess you could call him a rapper, but he's just more like, I rap. He just makes dope shit. I'm not a rapper. Right. I'm an artist, but I can't rap. I'm not a rapper. Right. I'm an artist, but I can't rap. New project. There's going to be country. There's going to be rock, folk, hip hop, <laughs> everything that you can imagine. I put put you into, you know, my own unique sound. You know what I'm talking about? There's a lot of live instrumentation, a lot of strings, a lot of guitars, keyboards, and all that. Um, you know, we're just making something that's completely cool and different. I'm not, I, you know, I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist. You know, I, I don't make rap music. You know, I might, I might rap. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. In 2016, bro, all them niggas were calling themselves fucking artists, bro, not rappers. So I, I don't. That's not even just a Post Malone thing, bro. Like I can't lie. Like after 2016, that all them niggas were saying, "I'm an artist. I'm an artist." Like that, that's it. They weren't rappers, bro. They were, they weren't singers. They weren't fucking songwriters. They were they were artists. That's it. That's all they were. Rap, but I don't make rap music. I make you know. I just make whatever I like. You can't really categorize it or put me in a box or anything. You know. Um, I'm gonna say that same shit. I think it just comes out. You know. What I mean, I don't want to call it a genre. I don't want to put myself anywhere that people want to put me in. I just want to be myself and you know keep working. You gotta yeah. understand this album, Hollywood's Bleeding. One over Astroworld by Travis Scott. In my opinion, one of the best albums out of the 20 teens. But Post also beat championships by Meek Mill in the rap category. He beat all these other albums. Meek Sometimes Mill the hate Post Scott though. was out of his control, but this same album was also like a turning point for him. Yeah, he had always been alluded into making more music than just rap, but this was really the album that solidified this idea. And really from this moment forward, he would start doing all kinds of albums from pop to his most recent project, F1 Trillion, his full blown country album. But you know something that he always been doing? Showing love to hip hop. Just about every project he comes out with really has do. something to do with the culture. Like I said, even though that Hollywood's Bleeding album, for example, wasn't necessarily a hip hop album, he still had people on there that represented the culture <laughs> during that time. On Hollywood's know, Bleeding, bro. he had Meek Mill, Lil Baby, Future, The Baby, Travis Scott, Young Thug, SZA, Swaley, even when he had 
had artists that he couldn't benefit from or that he was bigger than, he still showed love. He still went out of his way to show love to hip hop. An even crazier example of this is with his 2022 project, 12 Carat Toothache. This man had Gunna, Doja Cat, and Roddy Rich in 2022. And I specified the 2022 the because peaks. I said Roddy Rich. Just think about it. When Roddy Rich was yeah, arguing dope, at the lowest point in his career, Post Malone gave him a spot on this album. Keep in mind, Roddy Rich just came off his worst album. People still clown Live Life Fast to this day, and his career has not came back from him. For Post Malone, this huge artist that got the most diamond singles ever in music so to bad. bring him on tour is crazy. If we really looking at it, Post Malone put Roddy on his first album in years, but not only did he just have Roddy Rich as a feature, he took him on tour. But sadly though, this tour wasn't all good. During the Boston stop, he had to postpone the date for some health reasons. He posted on his IG and said, Boston, I love y'all. On tour, I usually wake up at around four o'clock, and today I woke up to cracking sounds on the right side of my body. Damn, I felt so good sound, last bro, night, but fuck? today it felt so different than it ever has. I'm having a difficult time breathing, feel like a stabbing pain whenever I breathe or move, but we in the hospital now. Oh, nah, doctor, pain, you don't, I can't my boy. do the show tonight. I'm sorry. But this all leads us to that country project I spoke on from the start. But this album, F1 Trio, Broken is country a project boy. where he went full-blown country. And this album had the internet feeling crazy because of something he said in the interview leading up to the album. He said during the time he was getting called the culture vulture by the whole hip-hop space, it was bothering him. It was bothering him so bad that he would turn to drinking just to cope with the amount of hate he was getting at the time. He hated the fact that everyone labeled him as a culture vulture. And even though I did praise him for showing Hey, bro, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That kind of was like, that was very slick to him, bro. I, I, I can't cap how he kind of used that to kind of ease into the, like, the culture vulture-ism. Like, that, that was pretty smooth, Post Malone. I, I give you that, bro. You you used your a vessel there. I, I, I like that. Like, well, I don't like that. It was kind of sleazy, but, I mean, what well, works, you know, for you, it works. But he, he did that shit, bro. I see you, my boy, out here being sly love to hip-hop after he started to evolve and switch styles from pop to country one thing he didn't do that he did to hip-hop was disrespect the zombie when he went from pop to country he did not say nothing disrespectful about pop music he didn't say nothing degrading about pop music but he did exactly that when he went from hip-hop to more that pop sound and you know what i say post malone kind of remind me of that andy meme from toy story where he say oh i don't want to <laughs> play with you no more and he throwing the other toy down picking up a new one that's exactly what post malone reminds me of he went from hip-hop to pop and now that pop is slowing down you know what he did right now music as a whole country music is taking over remember when post was first coming that. up and making this rap music well Hip-hop was the number one genre at the time, but with time, hip-hop done lost that grip and been dropping in popularity. But you know what's been taking its place? Country music. In the last year, country music done rose up 23.5% in stream. With the amount of country music we've been getting, it ain't no surprise that country is at an all-time high right now. Every time Morgan Wall and Luke Combs, Zach Bryan drop, it's all over the charts. They always gonna have their number one album on Apple Music. And when Post seen this opportunity to leave pop for country, he took it. But like I said, he did not degrade pop music like he did hip hop. But even though he did this hip hop that one time, he still does play a part. Post Malone has been a part of some of the biggest songs in hip hop. Post Malone and Sway Lee. Sway Lee, even though he's specifically not a rapper, he's still Man, hip hop Sway adjacent. Lee. He's still an important character in hip hop. Him and Post Malone made Sunflower, the song with Diamond, one of the biggest songs ever. 21 Savage. Post Malone gave 21 Savage his first number one song with Rockstar. Post Malone, Quavo, congratulations. So to call Post a culture version is kind of a blurry subject because, yes, he did use and abuse rap and got what he wanted and left, but also changed some careers for artists in hip-hop. He yeah, did a true. lot for the hip-hop space, and there's no looking past that. But at the end of the day, Post can make whatever music he want to make. Like I said throughout the vid, the problem is not him switching genres the problem is him not giving hip-hop the respect it deserves post malone used rap rap changed his life and he kind of just threw it back he didn't really give no thanks for it the way i see post malone he's someone that just makes whatever music he know, wants to even back him before. like giving thanks to quavo and uh 21 savage shit like that with, with them with them amazing features they had it's like yeah they provided the bars but like that song, like like you said, made Twenty One Savage didn't first number one. Quavo probably gave him a bid, like that was a big feature for him. Like you know, he he helped him out. 
You know what I mean? I wouldn't say it's like all credits to hip hop, but it's just like you know some people got some good credits there. Now I feel like he he. I don't think he like left disrespectfully at all, for real, if we're being honest. But that's just my opinion. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Before he was this huge big artist, it was tweets from like 2015 where he was saying that he eventually want to do country music or pop music or folk music. I feel like Post Malone is a culture vulture, not just to rap. He uses all these other genres and does something with it. But I don't think he's a culture vulture in the negative sense. He make music that'll work. He seen rap music work, so he did it. He seen pop music work, so he did it. He seen the rise of country music, and he did it. But he did it in a way his fans would appreciate. A lot of his fans appreciate his diversity, his versatility. But like I said, the topic I keep coming back to throughout this whole video, the problem people have with him is just him disrespecting hip hop. If I'm being honest, I would not be surprised if Post well, would turn another genre different. after this country phase over. I just think all the people want from Post is some appreciation toward hip hop, like how he did the other genres when he switched. And this combo kind of plays into my last oh, video. Yeah, Look, Yachty did something that garnered so much backlash and was real similar to what Post did. Yachty turned his career around after being one of the most hated artists in music and got right to calling hip hop music now basically unoriginal and boring. And then later on within that same year, he did exactly yes, he what he complained about. And if you want to know how Yachty turned hip hop against him, click on the vid on screen right now. Oh, damn. That was it. Let me know what we're thinking about Post Malone. I don't think he's a culture vulture, honestly. I don't think he, it was that bad. I don't think it's that real for, for, for that situation. He probably just hopped on the country wave because that is the big wave right now. Maybe I should do, do country instead of rap. Maybe that'll be a better choice. <laughs> 40 minutes about yeah, Yeah, exactly, bro. I ain't watching that one though right now. But how are we feeling about Post? Why do you think he can just do whatever he wants? Because it's him? It's like, you don't think he's a torture vulture for that? Like, hopping, hopping into hip-hop and then hopping out? I feel like if the music is good, it really shouldn't matter. Like, you do whatever the fuck you want for real with the music, bro. It's like, why do you have to stick to one thing, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's, it's, been, it's been a weird thing that I didn't understand, but I, I guess. I don't know. I see I see some some view, view standpoints on it and shit like that, but I, I don't know. Not all the time. But I don't think he's a torture vulture, not fully. More than Wallen, yeah. <laughs> he did help.